Westworld, part of time, excellent, or not. Well, that's right, friends. It's your main man Z with our reviews. Will kill you, and we're going to talk about the unfortunate or most fortunate news, depending on where you're coming from. We're going to talk a little bit about Westworld. Is right. Shocking decision to cancel the show that was garbage. That's right from the Hollywood Reporter. The acclaimed sci-fi drama is considered finished after its recent fourth season. This by creators hoping for a fifth season to wrap it up. You should have wrapped it up before when you ran out of ideas. You idiots. Terrible. All right. Big fan. Of, first of all, Michael Crichton. Genius. The man did Jurassic Park. And Drama to Strain. Uh, what else did he do? He did a whole bunch of stuff. The Great Train Robbery. Westworld. Right? You disparage the man. The first season was really, really good. And we're going to go a little bit through that just to show where things started out, right? Now, I think people were okay in the first season with the whole mystery box concept, right? There's a whole lot of mystery going on, and I get it. It seemed cool. I was in it. I was in it to win it. And then towards the end, I was like, hmm, what's going on here? I don't know. They, like, didn't wrap it up as, like... There's this big mystery about the maze, and then the maze didn't end up being as interesting as anybody thought it would. So I think people have started to get a little sus about the second season. But let's read the article, and then we'll go through what the fans think, and I'll give you my own two cents as we go through this. That's right, HBO has switched off Westworld. That's because nobody watches it. In an unexpected fate for a series that was once considered one of HBO's tent poles until it started to suck an acclaimed mystery box drama that racked up 54 Emmy nominations, including a supporting actress win for Thandy, Thandui Newton. Uh, last month, jo uh, co-creator Jonathan Nolan said that he hoped they would give it a fifth season. Remember they rebooted the whole thing in the third season because they were like, uh, we don't know what we're doing anymore. So let's just stick the dude from Breaking Bad in it. Maybe uh, J uh, Jesse Pinkman will pick it up. We always planned for a fifth and final season, and we're still in conversations. Well, you're not anymore, because you're done. You get toasted. Lisa Joy, one of the co-creators, you guys suck. You took a great show and destroyed it. And they're going to show what I showed, which is the Rotten Tomato meters continue to shrink. Uh, the linear ratings for the pricey series fell off sharply. I had an amazing intro. Had an amazing, like everything about it, top notch, super A1 quality, amazing acting, season one, so good. And then how you destroyed the entire show is beyond me. But David uh, Zaslav was not interested in keeping it going because what do they always say? Get woke, go broke. That's right. You get woke, you go broke. The fourth season apparently wasn't a cliffhanger. Wouldn't know. Didn't watch it. Didn't care because the second season sucked so hard, I quit after two seasons. I was like, what? When I watched the second season, I, just, I couldn't even get through it. It was so bad. It was just unbelievably bad. I, I couldn't even uh, fathom it. Last of Us seems like it'll pick up. You know, maybe Last of Us will be good. I don't know, but this was terrible. Let's look at the Rotten Tomato scores. Because they give at least an indication of what the fans were thinking, right? I don't agree with the critics, but the fans have a pulse on what's going on. Critic consensus, season one, with an impressive level of quality that honors its source material, the brilliantly addictive Westworld balances intelligent, enthralling drama against outright insanity. 87% from the critics, 93% from the fans. That's right, the fans had it right. They had it right, starring Anthony Hopkins, genius, brilliant, Ed Harris, brilliant, Evan Rachel Wood, brilliant, James Martin, pretty good, Thandie Newton, brilliant, Jeffrey White, brilliant. Everybody was so good in the first season. And then things started changing. Things they are changing. 
Westworld builds on its experimental first season, diving deeper into the human side of the AI without losing any of its stylish, bloody go gory. Yeah, so 470 critics weighed in on this one at 85%. Critics, or the fans, are like 76%. And this is where I dipped. I took the dip dip. Because I was not interested in what was going on here. They added Tessa Thompson, and I was like, okay. And then I was like, eh not interested so I dipped after this third season couldn't even tell you what the hell happened in this one because I have no idea but it fell off a cliff this is Jesse Pinkman if I remember correctly did they they added Luke Hemsworth yeah Aaron Paul started showing up in this one they went into I guess the real world and I'm not complaining about the decision to go into the real world or or anything like that what I'm complaining about is the fact that Westworld decided to reboot itself and broaden its scope while tightening its storytelling clarity. Although some may feel that the soul has been stripped from this machine in the process. That's right, 73% for the critics. Certified fresh. Fans, 60. Excuse me. Hiccups. 62%. That's a fail in most books. It's not popcorns, it's fail. So the reboot, not doing so hot. And I remember watching like one episode of it and I was like, oh God, what is going on here? I like, I, had, I just, I didn't care. The mystery boxes, they didn't solve anything from the first season. I'm just not interested anymore. That's where I completely checked out. One episode is all it took. I remember the second season kind of. And then the third season, I was like one episode and I was like, no, thank you. Check please. Season four, and here's where we start to see it. Oh, shocking. The critics are like, ooh, 76%. It's a little better than the last season. Oh my God. Westworld's continued reliance on mystery will frustrate just as much as it intrigues, but the fourth season still offers plenty of gleaming and menacing insight into a brave new world. Brave new, my ass. Look at how many people reviewed it. 515 on the audience score, 55%. The audience was like, kiss my grits. I'm out. I don't want it. Not interested. Don't care. Nobody cared. You, you changed the whole thing. Nobody cares. You turned into trash. You trash. You garbage. So you now you're gone. You get canceled because you didn't have the foresight. You didn't think about it. You didn't think how you'd alienate the audience. You didn't have a plan. You fell for J.J. Abrams' trap. You decided to make a bunch of mystery boxes with no answers. And people aren't stupid anymore. They won't fall for it. Especially once Anthony Hopkins stopped giving his amazing, compelling... Uh, his performances from the first season and then they're like i'll stick it out for the second season and then we realized yeah it's trash and these writers are trash they don't know what's going on and i have a good story going on catch the first season if you like it pretend everybody dies after that just burn it all to the ground and you're like all right no more westworld it's all good watch the first season skip everything else because it's all trash what do you think did you think that this was trash? Are you glad to see this go? Are you good? Are you glad to see them stop wasting money on trash? David Zaslav getting out of the trash bag, walking it out to the curb, kicking these people in the butt. I agree with him. So far, he's making all the right moves. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the DCEU come back. I'm feeling House of the Dragon. I'm all good, baby. Keep them coming. Keep good stuff coming. Get rid of the trash. Hey, if you like a show like Euphoria and it brings ratings, I don't care. That's fine. But don't give me something that I wanted and then turn it into garbage like Westworld. It's just trash. You had like a million different worlds to explore other than Westworld and you didn't do any of it. You decided to take it into the real world and do your own garbage agenda. Not having it, people. Not interested. Anyway, catch our full length audio podcast anywhere you get those. iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, all of the above. Catch them below. Uh, you can also catch us uh, streaming live 7.30 p.m. Fridays, Eastern Standard Time. Catch our shorts, 10-second reviews. You can't miss them. They're amazing. I'm going to knock your socks off. Plus all of our skits and more. We love y'all, but I am on to the next one. <laughs>